Hello, Tim's RV Tips here. Talk to you about cabinets. Had my cabinets made by an outside source, had them completely made and shipped. However, they sent me the retrofit uh, Blum uh, Blue Motion closers. So I'm gonna show you how I dealt with that with the 8020 galley module build. So I ordered the four cabinets from drawerdepot.com and they had a pretty good configurator that I could specify the width, uh, height, and you know, selection. I used a Blum metal box as the basis of it, and then they cut out the wood, assembled it, and shipped it in boxes, uh, exquisitely packaged, uh, no damage at all in shipping, and for a reasonable price, I felt. Now, I used metal box, so that's a lower grade, I guess you would call it, of cabinet, but I wanted it for the metal drawer sides. Uh, they're low profile, so they don't take up a lot of space. Uh, there's more space for uh, the cargo that you want to carry. Uh, and I was, as I said, as I will say in the video, they sent me the closers unexpected, but I still got it to work. So I've got four drawers here, and I built that up through the 8020 galley. And as you can see, they pull out nice, and it's a soft close mechanism. Since I got the soft close mechanism uh, retrofit, uh, it's called Blue Motion, and I thought it would be integrated with the rails. Uh, but what I've got is something called MetaBox. So these are metal sides. As you can see, they're very low overhead, so there's no, uh, it's not like um, Legra Box or whatever it's called. I got full use of the cabinet, but I got kind of cheap drawer slides that I've attached in here, and I'll show you how I do that. But for now, I'm going to show you how the these retrofit uh, slides work. So when you pull it out, there's a catch here. Box goes all the way out. And when you come back in, so uh, what I've done is just connected the uh, slides. I've drilled them out special. As you can see, I've drilled special holes in it and attached it. I had a little trouble because this particular piece of 8020, which I got from the salvage yard, um, I had extra of this rounded corner stuff, so I used it, not thinking that I'd need to insert the uh, the closer uh, pin on it. So I had a bracket laying around. It's an aluminum bracket that I've attached to the top, and it wraps around closer. Uh, so this is the way this one works. So actually, the retrofit uh, might have been actually better because I, it gave me flexibility on where to mount uh the closer. Detail photo of the T-bolt in action and uh, as with its split lock washer, as well as another washer to space it out a little bit. Sometimes I need to adjust the space with washers. Here's a detailed video of the closer in action. I'm hoping that this will work uh, as I won't need door closers, special door closers, uh, because as you can see here, when I pull on this, I can put, uh, you know, a good like uh, half a pound of force on this, and I can pull and pull and pull. You can see it pulling out now. As I keep pulling here, eventually it'll let go. The closer will reset and let go. So hopefully this will keep the drawers from coming out uh, while the van is in motion. Here's a detail of the four millimeter screws that I used custom made to attach the rails uh, for the cabinetry, I had to actually countersink this because they were too large. Otherwise, um, they were originally hex, and I made them countersunk screw at a certain length to go into the uh, drawer. The next steps are to buy the drawer face. I believe I'm going to use uh, bamboo plywood available at a local supplier here and cut them to length and cover up all the aluminum. 